for real gang good day to you you're welcome once again to my channel this week i'm so happy to have you here to watch this episode of my style talk and like i always say for all your style inspiration always stop by on my channel this week i'm going to be sharing some style secrets with you that you need to know looking classy and looking polished i am going to talk extensively on few ideas that i know and they are always on my mind each time i want to dress up and sometimes when i see people outside maybe you know the way they dress the way they put themselves together i used to think about probably some people don't even have ideas at all about um, how to style themselves so i see the desire in them to look very stylish and look very um classy but you know maybe because they are not really well informed on the few things they need to just understand and know in terms of being stylish so this is what actually motivated me to do this video this week and what i'm talking about is the simple style secrets everybody should know the number one thing i'm going to talk about on this secret is that you must always try as much as possible in your style journey to always balance your look balancing your look is very important when you are dressing up when you have something very big in your top area consider having something a bit very slim and brief in the lower part of your body the same way when you have something very fitted up then have something full and long possibly down this will complement each other it will help balance how everything is not that you have something very fitted up and again what you have it down or below is very tight as well it will not make you look very okay it won't make your dressing no matter how you you know carry yourself that look i tell you won't be um what is supposed to be so always try as much as possible to balance your look when you dress up in the house before you step out of that door always look at yourself in the mirror and assess your look it is very important and the next thing i'm going to talk about also is that when you dress up and you step out of your door pay attention to the compliments you get you know some people don't care about this this is very important when you dress up as a lady or as a man whichever when you step out pay attention to the compliments people are giving you that goes a long way to help you assess how you look when you dress up and you go out and you know by the time you look at people you know you see their faces they are trying to avoid your gaze or they are, they are trying to avoid to avoid you know looking straight into your eyes or they are kind of looking at you in a funny way or you see one or two people look you know in one corner they are laughing and you know maybe they are pointing at your dressing you know that definitely something is very wrong with your dressing so always pay attention to compliments another thing is when people talk about how fantastic your dressing is when people smile at you and say oh you, your dressing is so nice or some will tell you you are actually looking good someone you don't even know so you should at that point know that okay that the outfit for that day is a fantastic one another thing i want you to pay attention to that is a style secret is that make it a habit to shop your wardrobe instead of buy new things all the time what i mean by this is that when you have a wardrobe or your closet full of things that you can use always learn how to mix and match them learn how to combine your colors together learn how to combine your your wears together to have a fantastic look instead of you know maybe you want to wear this top today you are okay maybe this is the top i'm going to wear tomorrow you rush out of the house you want to buy a bag or a slippers that will match it there's always something in that closet in the heap of all those things you have that will match that particular thing you have picked so always learn to shop your closet instead of you know going to shop every day or to buy things every day at the end of the day you know you have things that are just 
you know lying there that you won't sometimes use in six months or a year once you have quality things in, in your house you can always use and reuse them instead of buying things all the time so that takes me to the next style secret always buy quality items to anything you are buying make sure you are buying a quality things that you can use over and over again it will save you cost it will save you stress of you know buying and rebuying again when you, you buy a very classic quality maybe a neutral bag a neutral shoe like um a nude color thing you know nude goes with uh, almost all the colors with anything so make sure it is a quality one or a quality item so that you can use them over and over again that is when you know shopping your closet will be easier for you there are some things that are really quality but and they are not too expensive it's not about you just getting to the market or getting to the boutique and just picking anything that you maybe you wear once or twice and they fridge their hand of um, life so always go for things that are quality each time you are using them you stand out and it will help you to cut your cost of buying and rebuying another side secret i want to share with you is that always make it a point of duty to iron your clothing or you iron your your wears at most you steam them before you wear them it is not always very good and stylish to be wearing rough and crumpled clothes the reason why i'm wearing this particular top today is to show you how it looks when you put your looks together you have your back you have a very nice makeup you are wearing good and nice accessories but your clothes is not in order it's not iron or is looking very rough and crumpled i'm surprised when i see ladies they will just essentially chiffon material they just pick it and they are not concerned or bothered about how the growth is looking on them they wear chiffon that are not ironed how on earth will a lady just pick up a chiffon clothing and wear it without ironing it it is it is out of place no matter how beautiful you might dress or you might look that clothes would make your look to be on the zero level is a no-no for any lady so always make it a point of duty to iron your clothes any cloth that is not iron you know you can keep it for another day it's not compulsory that you should wear that that particular day keep it somewhere you can see it easily and you would you know put it in order before the next uh, time you want to wear it so no lady should step out of a door with a rough clothes it is not allowed in style and fashion the next thing i'm going to talk about is that you should always avoid following trend do not follow trend following trend makes you wasteful because i tell you when some things are in trend and you just follow the trend you get them you acquire them by the time they are out of trend that particular thing is useless because when you are trying to use it again when it's out of trend people will be looking at you like sorry what's wrong with this person or excuse me you don't understand so don't follow trend always buy things that are timeless things that you can use over and over again and that takes me to the last thing i'm going to talk about today which is create your own lookbook do you even know how to create your own lookbook what i mean by you creating your own lookbook is that when you are at home sometimes during your leisure time you can always go to your wardrobe go to your closet put some you know clothes together your some pieces together wear them and look at how they look okay when you are okay with the outcome then you can just take a picture of that particular look save it on the, on your phone for days that you'll be in hurry and you want to quickly get dressed and get out of the house you can just quickly you know share through your phone and look for outfits you have put together in the past you can quickly pick a particular one of them then you wear the clothes and you you are out of the door the another thing is okay maybe like i like the way i'm looking today the way i'm dressed 
maybe when I'm outside or in the office or anywhere, you can just take a picture of yourself. Keep the picture of that particularly so that the next time you are in haste or you don't even know what to wear, you can always scroll down through your pictures or your media and check for any 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 inspiration. Some people would even go as far as going to Instagram, check for maybe celebrity pages and all that. Look at the way they combine their outfits and it's such give them inspiration. So it's always advisable that you create a lookbook. Maybe outfits you like. Once you like a particular outfit of the day, just take a picture of it, store it. It will help you to make right decisions sometimes later. And that's the end of this um, week's edition of my style talk i hope this style secret i'm sharing today will help someone out there and help them clear some doubts on some issues thank you for taking your time to watch my videos like my videos and click that subscribe button the little bell beside the subscribe button as well just click it so that each time i upload new videos you will be notified Thank you once again and uh, I'm saying bye-bye.